Hey, Rocket Nerds, welcome back to another video of all the exciting updates. A little while ago, SpaceX performed what looked to be a successful spin prime test. Next up, we are expecting a final static fire test of all 33 Raptor engines on Booster 9 before flight. Prior to the test, we saw crews testing out the FireX system. For those who are new to Starship development, the FireX system is a fire suppression system that SpaceX deploys on the orbital launch mount to avoid any unwanted explosions. The system uses a combination of water and gaseous nitrogen to extinguish fires and prevent explosions. The water is sprayed from a network of nozzles, and the nitrogen is used to displace the oxygen in the air, which helps to prevent the fire from spreading. The system has been tested several times and has proved to be effective for its purpose. There is also another exciting update. SpaceX has now filed another realistic launch date, according to a notice to local Mariners data. Last week we were talking about a possible launch date on the 31st, but that doesn't sound realistic anymore. Starship S-25 hasn't finished its pre-flight checks. We still have to see a full wet dress rehearsal. And most importantly, there are no words from the SpaceX team. So, September 8th could be a very possible launch day. Let's hope to see the next Starship flight soon. After several weeks of delay due to a vehicle issue, on August 24th, Rocket Lab finally launched the We Love the Nightlife mission for Capella Space atop an electron rocket from Launch Complex 1 in Mahia Four, Peninsula in three, New Zealand. Two, one, and lift off. The company says that this mission used a pre-flown Rutherford engine for the first time in its history. This engine was recovered from a previous mission and is a step forward toward making Electron a reusable rocket. The Electron booster for this mission was also recovered after a parachute-assisted splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. And finally, here is a quick update on the status of the Chandrayaan-3 mission. After the lander successfully made a soft touchdown, the Indian Space Research Organization wasted no time in deploying the Vikram rover on the lunar surface. Here are some first pictures sent from the spacecraft. That's the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in again. See you soon.